Hey everybody, it's Heather DeLuca and I've come all the way to Cape May to take a look at a house that we just recently found out about uh, where a literary professor actually hangs uh, poetry from her tree and invites people to come and take a look at the poems and if they're particularly meaningful to that person, you're invited to take one. So follow me. Very typical Victorian house, very true of Cape May. So here's the poetry, get it? <laughs> By Sylvia Bear. She actually wrote this, she's the homeowner, it's called Miles Speaks, a poem for children. I'll just read you the first line. My baby brother Jameson just got a tooth, his first. And mommy is so happy, I thought that she would burst. It looks like she's written a lot of these. This is called the garden. I look at the garden and what do I see? Hundreds of flowers smiling at me. Is this just not the happiest tree? I mean, okay, if it were a money tree, that would be amazing, but this is just spreading kindness and positivity, I think. This one's called the dance. Oh my ballerina, we stand in the wings waiting for your turn on stage. Your wet hand slowly slips out of mine. Fingers that yesterday, am I dreaming? Fumbled with buttons now deftly arrange a costume. How I have practiced for this, your dance, but still I am not ready. I think I'm gonna take this one. I know it's for a kid, but I'm a kid at heart. Does that count? 